Hey kids! Welcome back to our series about Jesus after the resurrection. The title of our lesson today is going to be Jesus Shows His Hands and Feet. Before we get into our lesson, let's go get our Bibles and let's do our Bible confession. Do you have your Bible? Well, put it up to your heart and let's say, This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I, I can have everything that it says I can have. This is God's Word speaking to me. I love my Bible. Amen. Bye. Hello, everybody. I know I haven't been here in a little while, but my name is Miss Crystal. And today, I was going to pick up from where Miss Deanna left off. So, do you remember the lesson that Miss Deanna talked about the two men she was talking about? And they were walking along with Jesus. I have Jesus too. <laughs> they were walking along with Jesus. Well, these two men, as they were walking along, they ran into the disciples. And they started to, they got so excited because they had done seeing Jesus and everything. And they ran into the disciples and they started to tell the, the, the disciples about what they had saw about Jesus and things. That he was alive and he's not dead, he's alive. And, and we just ran into him and he saw, and Simon saw him and all this stuff. Well, as they're talking to him, Jesus appeared. Jesus came to them. And the disciples thought they were they were afraid. They thought they seen a ghost. They thought, how can this be? We saw him die. But now they see him alive. So now I want to read I, I want to read some of it to you. And this is Luke chapter 24, verse 37. We're gonna start there. It says, They were they were fearful and terrified. And they thought they seen a ghost. But Jesus says, why are you troubled? Why do you doubt what you see? And then, then, then he tells them to look at his hands and his feet and to see that it really is him. He says that a ghost doesn't have a body like that. Okay. And after Jesus said, showed his hands and his feet, guess what? The disciples, they got happy. They were amazed. It says that the followers were amazed and very happy. Now, wouldn't you be happy if you saw Jesus alive again after what he went through? And now this is still Luke chapter 24. But this is verse 41. The followers were amazed and very happy. See, these are the followers. And they were amazed because Jesus is alive and they're happy. But guess what? They still could not believe it. And I, I'm thinking it's because they thought that they were seeing a spirit. Because they're, they're thinking, this man was dead. And now he's alive. So how can he really be here? Right? Well... Jesus really was a man. He really walked the earth. He really went through all that pain. He really was hungry. He really did all the things that people said that he did. So, and it also says in verse 41, he asked them if they had any food because he was a man and he was hungry. So they gave him food to eat and they watched him eat it. Okay, and then he told them, he says, do y'all remember when I was with you? I told you all these things that was going to happen to me. And now, now that they happened to him, they're kind of still trying to understand. He explained all the stuff that was going to happen to him. All in the books of Psalms and all the things that Moses has said about him and all those types of things. He, he, was, he was telling them, I've already told you all this stuff. Okay? <clears throat> and then guess what happened? Their minds, their hearts began to open. They started to realize... This really is real. This really is Jesus. He really is walking amongst us. This this man is has really conquered death and now he's alive again. We are so thankful that our Savior is alive. Thank you, Lord. Okay, now let's go back in the classroom with Miss Kathy and learn a little bit more about this story. Hey, kids. Well, it's Miss Kathy again for another fun lesson, and we're going to learn about Doubting Thomas. Now, Thomas was not with the disciples when Jesus came, okay? So, and all the other disciples, like Miss Crystal told you, had opened their eyes and their mind and realized that Jesus had come back and he is alive now. Eight days later, the 11 disciples, including Thomas, was in the room and Thomas they was so excited and they was telling Thomas Jesus is alive we saw Jesus he's alive and Thomas kept shaking his head 
and they say, but Thomas, you got to believe Jesus is alive. He's alive. We talked to him. We saw him. And Thomas kept shaking his head. He said, I am not going to believe Jesus is alive unless I can put my fingers in the holes of his hands and I can put my hand in the hole in his side. I am not believing this. So all of a sudden, Jesus arrives in the room and he says, peace to you, to all of them. And he walked over to Thomas and he put his hands out. And he said, Thomas, put your fingers in the holes of my hands. And Thomas did. And he said, Thomas, put your hand in the hole in my side. And Thomas did. And while Thomas was doing this, Jesus looked at him and he says, Thomas, do not be an unbeliever, but be a believer. And when Thomas realized, oh my goodness, it's Jesus. He looked at him and he said, my Lord, my God. And then Jesus said to Thomas, you have seen and believed, but blessed are those who have not seen, but they believe. What is Jesus saying? He's saying that we should believe before we see the evidence of what he has told us. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. So let's use our faith and let's believe Jesus. Let's believe what he said before we actually see it happen. So, for eternity, which means forever and ever, Jesus is going to have the nail-scarred hands where the nails went in in both of his palms, and he's going to have the nails, the scars that the nails caused in his feet, and he's going to have that forever and eternity just to remind us of what he done for us on the cross. And he said, it is written that the Christ, which is Jesus, we all know Jesus, you know, he's the Christ, would be killed and rise from the dead on the third day. You saw these things happen. You are witnesses. See, they were there. They saw it happen. So now he's telling them to go out and tell everybody else what happened. He's telling them, go out and tell them that the Messiah is not dead. He's alive, right? I think that's what God would like us to do. Go out and tell tell everybody. Jesus is alive. He can help you. He can help us understand the scriptures. If, if we read something in the Bible and we don't understand it, we can always pray and ask Jesus or God to help us to understand it. And they will because they want us to understand, right? Jesus told them to go out and to to tell people what they've seen and what they've heard and things. Well, we can do the same thing. We weren't actually there to see that, but we know what Jesus has done for us personally. We know what Jesus says in his Bible. So we can go out and do the same things that, the Jesus, uh, that Jesus had told the disciples to do. Praise the Lord. Isn't that good news? I'm back with your craft for this week. And it's Jesus, and you have to put him all together. It's a peel and stick craft. Now, as you can see, Jesus has little hearts in his hands and feet. You remember whenever Jesus was crucified on a cross and Roman soldiers drove nails in his hands and feet? Well, these hearts right here remind us that Jesus did that for us so we wouldn't have to suffer. And that means that Jesus loved us so much. And there's also this little scarf around Jesus that you have to peel and stick onto him. And it says, Jesus loves you this much. And there's a little heart right here, and it says, and that's a whole lot of love. So remember, you are the ones who believe before you see. Bye. Hi, kids. If you like this video, make sure you hit a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we post videos. Bye.